We're here on the deck of the championship with Dr. Mike Farnham out of Orangeburg, South Carolina. Mike comes in. Uh, this is his second year in a row. Takes care of the players, a little massage therapy, a little chiropractor. Uh, Mike, just give us an idea of some of the ailments that you've been dealing with. Well, a lot of back stiffness, soreness, tight muscles, a lot of neck and soreness, and uh, just getting out here trying to tweak these guys a little bit, not trying to save the world, but do what we can to get them out there and play good. What advice would you give to a player uh, that is going to play in a big event like this just to prep and make sure he can stay loose? Probably the, the thing that I noticed the most is a lot of the players are one-sided, that they could do a lot more flexibility to the opposite side that they throw, uh, a lot more strength and conditioning for bringing balance to the body, things like that. That's Dr. Mike Farnham on the deck. Uh, if you're fortunate enough to be a player, he'll take care of you. Hey, this is Phil Arthur, and I'm giving you your tip of the day at the USDGC. Um, I, for me, the tip of the day is going to be go out, execute what you know you can do, play within your game, and uh, relax and have a good time. It's a beautiful day for golf. I'm looking forward to a good round. And uh, for those of you who haven't played here, um, it's all about playing within your means. So uh, stick to your game plan and have a good time. Again, this is Phil Arthur with the tip of the day. Thank you. Today we're literally going to go in between the ropes. The USDGC is known for setting standards and the bar higher in our sport. We're going to show you something that was added this year. This year Grange grass has been incorporated as a drop zone. Hole number 10 out on the back side has Grange grass and hole number 4 here also has Grange grass. As you can see it blends in well with the natural environment. Grange grass is perfect for a course that will not allow concrete in. It can be utilized for tee pads, launch areas, drop zones, and even greens. We have two different types of Grange grass this year at the USDGC. Out on hole 10, as I mentioned, we have a slit film, which is a different type. It has one blade of grass that is actually slit into six different blades as it comes up. Here we have a monofilament on hole four. And this is actually six different blades of grass per stitch. And it is a little more durable, but this is actually the least expensive type grass that is offered. Now the Grange grass is not only offered in green, but it's offered in different colors. So you can differentiate your tee pads at your course. Uh, it is also offered in different heights. You may want to check with the manufacturer to see what works best for you. For more information on this new exciting product, please contact this manufacturer. Dakota Hatfield, 2006 United States putting champion. Dakota had that feel. It felt great. Went out there, gave my all, and came out champ. So, he got the ceremonies going on. He picked up a nice $500 check, and I believe you had to listen to some idiot in your yeah. ear hollering. This the whole guy time. right here. Yeah, it was great. It's so, good stuff. Uh, Part of the putting is, is the Raz and, and dealing with all that, and you handled it great. So, congratulations. All right, thank you. Here with Avery Jenkins, 2006 U.S. distance champion. Uh, he's also two years previous U.S. champion and a world distance champion. Avery, tell me how that feels, Power Man. It feels awesome, dude. Um, in years past, I don't know, I always thought the more premier event of all things was the U.S. Open. And uh, to win the U.S. distance championship, as far as throwing everything, is a, an honor. I love coming here. I love throwing over the lake. It's quite a spectacle with all the audience and the crowd. And, it really gets me pumped up, and I, I love doing this. What was your uh, distance to win this year? For the finals uh, on flat ground, it was 584. 584. It was the win, yeah. Yep. That's Avery Jenkins, distance champ again. Thank you. Thanks, Billy. From New Jersey, please welcome Steve Brinster.